Is there... <laughs> Can you guys even hear me? <laughs> Greetings, everybody. I am Lobo. Welcome to episode 34 of my Minecraft survival series. Uh, last time we were here, we uh, worked on this tree farmer here in episode 33, uh, which is working fairly well. I've made some changes in between episodes, though, so we're going to go over that real quick. Uh, first change is down here in the storage system. You can see there's now actually storage for all the wood we've been getting from this thing, which is awesome. Uh, second change would be this right here. Uh, what this is, is I've made some changes to oak mode. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the switch so I can show you guys that. If we can get up this way. Let's see. So if you remember, um, Okuma before used to run on the same basic mechanics as the rest of the farm. We would pull this switch. The uh, ceiling would drop down, limiting the height of our tree, and our, ma our machine would run twice, um, like everything else. But uh, that was unnecessary for Okmo. So what we added down here was a sticky piston that pulls this block away, limiting the machine to only one go round, uh, which is all that's needed for oak mode. It also has another line that runs back there and kind of limits the, uh, like shortens uh, interruption between bow meal dispensing. Uh, so we don't have to wait as long. We can actually harvest oak a lot faster than uh, the other trees here, which is which is great for, you know, if we just need general wood. Um, I don't use oak a whole lot, so, you know, nah. But everything we can do to improve efficiency is great. And we're going to continue to improve this tree farm over time because, let's face it, it could use some improvement. Uh, but, you know, we're not working on that today. Uh, today, instead, what we're doing is we're going to... Where on earth is Mr. Ed, the escape artist extraordinaire? Um... Yeah, as I was saying, uh, today what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a place to house our horses uh, because before we start building like the actual structure of the tree farm, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move these guys so we can actually, you know, build here. Um, so here's the general. This is not <laughs> going as I wanted to. I haven't actually played this game in, in a couple weeks, so my grasp on the uh, the controls are a little rusty at this point. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get them back. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, what I want to do, like we're going to build a stable today, and there was this mechanic. Um, I don't know if it still works or not, but we're going to test that out real quick, where if you put a half slab up here, and then if you put a half slab on the floor right here, uh, the horses won't go through it. Because they need at least, you know, to be too tall for them to come through. And what they see there is, uh, you know, this block is occupied and uh, this block is occupied. And the only free block is that middle one. They think it's just like a one tall thing where they can't walk through. Uh, so they won't try to. But we can, like, pilot them through it and our head just goes straight through the block. And if that still works and it looks like it does, if they, they stay in here, that's awesome because that's what we're going to use to house them in our stable. That's a nifty little trick that, you know, I like very much. And uh, we'll, we'll utilize this technique uh, back here where we build our stable. Uh, before we do that, though, I need to go ahead and have a look out for Mr. Ed, see if we can find him. I don't think there's uh, many places. There he is. <laughs> how, how, how did he even... Okay, let, let's look at this real quick. Tell me if you see this. I mean, it doesn't really matter because we're going to tear this whole area down anyway. But how would he have gotten out of here? I just, I don't see it. He, he just escapes from everything. I mean, how? Mr. Ed's hijinks aside, uh, we are now supplied with a bunch of spruce and oak building materials. Of course, because that's what we have in abundance. That's what we're going to build with today. Uh, you might remember the last time we came out here, like I was planning to build this stable before. And we could not figure out where we wanted to put it. And to be honest, I haven't given it much thought since then. Um, I still don't have a solid idea where I want to put this thing. So I think what we might do is just go ahead and take out a slab. And wherever this thing falls, probably, I don't know, right here, uh, we'll go ahead and start building. Uh, so the, the first block is down. There's no turning back now. The only thing we can do is keep building on it. So, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so what we're probably going to do is build up a wall on either side. This is the opening for the horse, of course, of course. And uh, we'll probably put that right there as our support pillar. And then we'll continue the wall behind it like that. And then right here, we'll probably do another little paddock for the horse and another wall and then another like little paddock for the horse. And then this like see how it, it kind of goes into the path. Uh, you know, that's because it wasn't planned. Uh, we'll have to redraw the paths, but that's fine. That's why we didn't build the paths yet anyway. Um, how many is this? This is four. 
All right, so four on each side. That will give us eight little horse houses in total, which I think should be plenty. Um, so we need to then frame the end of the house. Uh, so we'll put this right here. Actually, we'll probably double them up just to just to make it look like a very strong, sturdy structure, you know. Um, and then we'll probably want to have it come around here to the side. I mean, obviously this is a quarter, so we're going to want to have it come around. How how much space do we want to give them? So we'll have it. I don't know, come out maybe one, two, three, four, five. And yeah, we'll give them, we'll give them, we'll make it five long. We'll give them, we'll give them a little bit of room to, you know, hang out in there. They have, they have to be comfortable. They're going to be spending a lot of time in there. Um, and then we'll put this right here. And this is going to be like the start of our doorway. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to mirror, like this is going to be a fairly simple build since like I said, it's, it's been a couple weeks since I've played. Um, so I want to kind of warm up and this is going to be kind of a warm up. So it's going to be basically the same on the left and right and on the front and back. Um, so let me go ahead and get a little bit more of this done and I'll be back with you guys in just a few. So right now what I'm doing is just basically getting the floor plan in place so I know exactly what I'm getting myself into. Uh, just making sure, you know, as we do the horse stalls, make sure they have plenty of room and it looks like that's going to be fine for them. Uh, so I think right here behind the, the frame pillars or behind the pillar, whatever you want to call them, uh, we're going to do solid blocks just to make it look a little better because you can see through the stairs like if you look at it from the sides. So that will kind of hide that. Yeah, you see like kind of, you know, how that's solid. This you can kind of see through. It looks a little awkward. And we'll go ahead and get rid of that awkwardness by just getting rid of these and throw the solid blocks in there like that. So that way we get a nice, you know, little surface right there. So it looks solid, looks sturdy. That's what we want uh, because, you know, th these are structures that have to last. Um, and I've mentioned a couple times already how it's been a couple weeks since I last played. Uh, I just want to let you know that's not, you know, going to be a regular occurrence. You know, I just couldn't. I couldn't play. I had other stuff going on. Um, but, you know, hopefully you guys didn't notice it. Hopefully, you know, if you guys are subscribed to my channel, you didn't miss any videos because I created a backlog uh, just so there wouldn't be any interruption. I'm still getting out the videos on the normal schedule. I'd like to put out more videos. That's not really an option at this point, you know, but uh, eventually maybe we'll get to that point where I can I can do more videos per week. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys didn't notice and that won't be a regular occurrence. If I do know I have a period of time coming up when I'm not going to be able to make any videos, I will go ahead and do the backlog if I'm able to. And there shouldn't be really any interruption. The only thing you'll have to deal with is, is me coming back here and just, just like, you know, button mashing a lot because I don't know exactly what I'm doing with my, uh, with my fingers at this point. <laughs> but yeah, all that aside, um, let me go ahead and, uh, you know, right now I'm just basically doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is try to get the structure of this thing built and to do so in a timely manner, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and call Watchdog over. We'll put on some music. We'll go ahead and get the basic shape of the building in and we'll come back and work on the details together. How's that sound? All right, so we have a basic shape for our building. And now when I say basic, I mean basic. There's not even a front door to this thing. But now it's time to go ahead and start working in some details. Um, so I think what we're going to do, there's not going to be a whole lot of variation between the different sections we're going to do. So we're just going to work on a section at a time, like the front here. Um, it's going to be mirrored on the back and we just have to do one side of the front really and then we can mirror that on the other side So not a whole lot to do there uh, uh, for the um, Side stalls here right here on the outside the exterior stall areas uh, There's four of these they're going to be identical as well uh, the same way with the second story above that um, so we just really have to get one of these looking right and then we can move on from there um, I am 
talking about so much that I'm not even, I can't even think about what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. So uh, what we want to do is we want to have kind of a simple design. Uh, and when I say simple, it's, it's still going to look busy because that's just naturally how I build. Uh, but I think something like that could work. We can maybe do some fence posts down the side. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and get some fence posts. I will be right back. All right, so fence post here, fence post here, and it, it, it looks weird because it doesn't join at the tops and bottoms, but um, I think what we could do is we could take out our stairs and add stairs in place of the slabs above and below it, and that should make it join and hopefully look a little bit better. We can always see. Um, so we'll do that, that, and yeah, I mean, that, that definitely looks better. Let's go ahead and do the bottoms too. Um, right now, like this, you know, it's always weird for me to do live building because I'm not very good at it. Like what you see here, like if I say I like it, it's going to look different in the next clip. I guarantee it. Uh, but yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, but would it look better with something else here aside from the fence post? Because the fence post, I use those a lot. Um, so maybe fence gates like that would be better. Um, it's different. I don't know that it's better. Um, variety is good though. We don't want everything looking the same. Um, no, that, that really gets lost. Well, actually just because of the color, it all kind of gets lost. Doesn't it? Like, I don't know. Well, it's between the fence post and the sideways fence gate. I think, um, and the thing is like, you know, it, it, my problem with each of these is the same. They just kind of get lost in there because the colors are so similar. But but I do like this one better. I do like the, the fence gate better. Uh, just for the simple fact that, you know, it's going to be different than, uh, you know, I don't really use fence gates. I use a lot of fence posts when I build stuff. Um, but I don't know. It, it would look better, in my opinion, if it was a different color, like maybe dark oak. The thing is, though, I want to kind of keep the oak and spruce thing going like I have going on around here. And also, that's what we have in abundance. We don't have an automatic farm for dark oak yet. Um, so... I don't know. I don't know. Let me think about it for a minute and uh, we're going to go ahead and, and move on to the side here. Try to try to figure out what we can do to make the, the framework look a little better. And, you know, my go to, of course, is going to be the fence post. Um, and that's why I didn't want to use it like in the in the stalls themselves. Maybe it, it would be better if we did it on the outsides instead of in the corner. Uh, just because we would be able to use more of them and we could do something else in the corner here. Like we can go ahead and get rid of this. And we could do something else in the corner that's not fence gates or fence posts. And that would also allow us to continue the fence post down the side here, just so we can get more detail going down the whole side of the building instead of having the detail, you know, l limited to the corner. Uh, that is that is another option. And one I'm leaning towards at this point, I think. Um, but I think what I need to do is I need to step back, have a look at what we've done so far and think about what we can do. And then I'll be back with you and hopefully we'll make some progress. You know, it's, it's kind of silly to to stick with just two types of wood when a third could potentially make things look a little bit better. So I want to add some dark oak components to this and maybe hopefully that'll make things pop just a little bit more. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these. As you can see, I've done a little bit of work in between uh, in between uh, shots here. Um, I added some stone foundation work and also some dark oak above and below the doorway itself. And yeah, I think I think that definitely helps. If you compare it to the one on the right, the the left side just pops a little bit more, you know. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and and mirror that over here in this spot and just see how they look next to each other. Make sure they look all right next to each other. I mean, to be to be perfectly honest with you guys, I'm still not completely happy with uh with even this design. Um, I, I think it would be better if we went with more dark oak, like at the uh um around the uh the design area. Let me <laughs> I can't talk in Minecraft at the same time. Uh but yeah, um you know, I, I do want to stick with the with this block palette for now, at least, uh, you know, just have it go with everything else. But that's something we have to give some consideration to, you know, I mean, not everything has to carry through in an area. It really doesn't. You know, what? I'm going to I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to come back to this. Ow. <laughs> After I recover from my injuries. Oh, man. Face right into the roof. Oh, <laughs> my aim is so bad right now. Everything is so bad right now. OK, let's go ahead and work on this little section right here. Uh, what I want to do is kind of box this in. I want to keep this really simple. 
for me, really simple for me. I think that's the uh, the qualifier right there. So we'll just have it kind of match the bottom. Uh, put the fence gates right here like that. Uh, you know what? No, I don't like that for up here. For up here, I think maybe we'll just go ahead and uh, break out the spruce fence posts. And we'll just do that like that, like we were originally planning to do downstairs. And I think that would look better up here. Uh, we can also take out our spruce slabs and we can do those at the bottom and at the top here and just leave it at that. I think that would look pretty good. Now we got to figure out what we're going to do with the window because I don't want to use glass. I don't want to use glass in our stable. Um, so what we might do instead is put in fence posts, right? Except for they don't connect to the stairs. And also that's a little too fence posty. Um, Hmm. Trap doors, trap doors could work. Let me, um, let me go ahead and make some of those. I will be right back. Yeah. Yeah. I like the trap doors on top. I like them so much. In fact, that I think I kind of want to carry them down to the first floor here. Um, so I think what we're going to do is go ahead and get rid of the dark oak fence gates and we're going to put the trap doors in here and see how they look downstairs. Uh, they might not look good or they might. I actually do kind of like that. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, it adds, it makes it, it ties in with the top better. Okay. It also adds a little bit more variation, you know, the slightly different color wise. And I, I do like it. I like the, I like the trap doors. I I'm feeling the trap doors at this point. We are making progress guys. I feel like we're making progress. I could be delirious due to lack of sleep, but I feel like we are making progress. In the name of progress, I feel like it's a good idea to not just limit ourselves to, to the wood we get from our tree farm. I think we need to expand our block palette. I've said numerous times I think dark oak would look better. So you know what? I'm coming over here to the forest just beyond and just below the uh, business district, which we need to clear out anyway eventually. We do need to clear this area out, so I'm just getting a head start on that. Uh, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and start collecting some dark oak. And I think what we're going to do is use that as our main highlight block instead of the spruce instead of the spruce slabs and stairs uh we're going to do the same thing but with dark oak and hopefully hopefully that will that will make this thing stand out just a little bit more because that that's the one thing that's been bothering me is the fact that the spruce just blends in so well it it gets lost you know um, so yeah, let me go ahead and cut some of this stuff down. I'm going to cut some of these trees down and I will meet you back over there. And hopefully next time we see each other, I will have made a little bit of progress, a little bit. That's all I want. All right. Jumping forward a little bit. I've made a little bit of progress. Uh, I've replaced the spruce with dark oak and it's bold. Um, it, it I, I do like it better. Let me go ahead and say, I like it better. Um, it, it's, it definitely makes an impact. I've done some work on the front as well, just, uh, just playing around with it. Um, and it might be a little, little much, but then again, this is such a big structure that I don't want it to all kind of blend together in, you know, a big monotone mess, which it could easily do. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and knock out this center section in the front and uh, we'll see if we can make it all work. All right, so let me just get down and then I can show you guys what we've done here. Uh, I thought it'd be better to keep this fairly simple to kind of balance things out a little bit. And I think that that works. Uh, we use the slabs and the stairs, the dark oak slabs and stairs to emphasize the roof lines and also kind of just carry it across so that everything is cohesive. And I gotta say, I, I'm liking it. You know, I can visualize it. I can see myself liking it when it's done. And that's always a good sign. Uh, we have each individual section complete design wise. We just have to replicate and mirror on the blank sections. And that's it for the exterior design. Um, so let's go ahead and move inside. First things first, we need a floor. Um, so what I'm gonna do is use these path blocks to kind of give ourselves that wasn't meant to happen. A dirt floor, um, not just path blocks though. We're gonna vary up the block palette here. Uh, let me show you exactly what we're doing here because it's, it's nothing that we haven't done before. Uh, so it'll consist of oak logs, uh, path block, spruce, and uh, brown carpet. Uh, maybe even some podzel. I might throw some podzel in there as well. As always, I'm just gonna start with uh, a single block, which will be this path block, and then we'll go and add stuff to it. You've seen this pattern for me before, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of zoom through this, and uh, I'll meet you back here once we have a floor in place. I don't know if I've ever talked about how much I love path blocks in this game, but I do because they're so versatile. Like you can see like how it's kind of light, but if you put blocks around it, it changes the color. You can, you can actually change the color. You can have it super light or you can make them super dark by adding more and more blocks around it and kind of having the path blocks separated 
from each other by with full blocks. You see how that got really dark? Like that's one thing I really like about about these. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'll be back in just a few. All right, we have a floor in place. It's a very messy floor, but I like it. It suits the build, I think. Uh, as far as the stalls go, I want to divide them pretty simply with uh, just oak oak planks. Uh, but I think in the front here, just so you know where each stall is, well, I mean, you're going to know. It's going to be fairly obvious. But just to, just to give a little bit more emphasis on the division between the stalls, what I'm thinking we could do is just put a spruce wood pillar in the center like this going up and I think that's going to really help with the interior look of this build um, so I think I'm just about out of spruce I am I am completely out of spruce okay well uh, I have to make a trip over to the farm but we can go ahead and add some of these oak planks in here like this uh, just to I am wow I'm making those spruce uh, slabs yeah I'm gonna go grab some more spruce from our farm I'll be right back guys uh, we have a problem. <laughs> Sawyer is making a break for it. It looks like Sawyer is trying to escape through the glass. Um, I'm really sketchy about approaching him. All right. So it, it doesn't look as if he can see me, but that is still really scary because if he gets out, like if he somehow phases out of his little room there, that could be very detrimental to us and to our little little town we have going on here. Can I push him back? <laughs> I can. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, Sawyer, you require a bit more maintenance than uh, I thought you would. I hope you don't do this on a regular basis. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of worrying a little bit. Um, we really don't want him to get out of there. Uh, so jumping ahead a little bit, we're back in the horse stalls, just getting them shaped out. Uh, it's pretty simple, so I hope you don't mind that I kind of jumped ahead. But this whole build is pretty simple. It's just to serve a purpose. And that's to hold our horses. It doesn't have to be fancy. So I think this is pretty much what we're going to roll with for right now. Uh, we also put rafters in, and we're going to put a hayloft on the second floor. Uh, just to add a little bit more realism, a little bit more fun, a little bit more detail to the build, I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I think overall, like we know what this thing's going to look like. We just have to actually get the blocks in place and then we can pretty much call this thing done. Um, I didn't think about how I'm going to be getting up to the, the, the hayloft. That's uh, that's another issue entirely. I guess maybe we can go up from the outside since there's no where to put a staircase in here. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, no, there, there's not going to be any place to put a ladder out here either. Um, okay. Well, you know, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. But I think what we're going to do right now, since we know what this thing is going to look like, um, what I might do is go ahead and put on some music. We'll go ahead and get this thing done.
Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that's about as far as I'm going to go today. Um, we left some stuff unfinished. I want to hold off on the back part until we get the business district wall, the exterior wall of the business district in. Uh, so yeah, the whole back part, as you can see, completely unfinished. Uh, but we'll get to it eventually. We will. Uh, as far as this goes, we need to do something with our villager memorial head right there. We might make that into like a big rock or something. I don't know. We have grass on the ground for our horses to eat. I hope they're fairly comfortable out here. Uh, we also have Watchdog hanging out up there because I forgot to log him out. <laughs> I apologize about that. But yeah, overall, I like this. Like for something I was so iffy going into and had no idea what it would look like. I, I really do enjoy this. I think this actually came out really cool. And I'm sure our horses are going to love it. We have our little hayloft up there, uh, which is also pretty cool. We did not. Uh, we didn't spend any time up there. You just saw it briefly in the timeline. So let's go have a peek at it. I thought this was a little pretty cool addition to it. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Now, I guess the only thing that's really left to do before we end this episode is actually bring our horses over here. Um, so I think we're going to bring over maybe Mr. Ed first, since he's the master of escape. He'll let us know if there are any flaws in our design. So, guys, <laughs> what's wrong with this picture? Um, Sawyer is missing. Sawyer is gone. Did he die or did he disappear? Or did he de did he escape? Or despawn. Either no matter what whatever the case, it's not good. Okay, um come here, Skullberry. Uh oh crap. <laughs> here I was thinking we were gonna end the episode on a high note. Oh man. What a, do I risk getting another gas knowing that there's a potential for him to to get out or despawn or whatever? I mean he he was name tagged. <sighs> I don't know. All right, Skullberry, uh, this is your new home. Enjoy it. You got some hay in there, even though I know you don't eat. So uh, do whatever you do. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and, and grab Mr. Ed because he he's the troublemaker. That That's who I meant to grab in the first place because I want to, if, if anybody is going to escape, it's going to be him. We need to figure out what we're going to do about Sawyer. That's the thing. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, what we're going to do about him. We'll figure that out in between episodes. We'll, next episode, we'll come up with a plan. Uh, but yeah, if, if you guys hear noise in the background, I, I do apologize for that. Um, there's, you know, a lot of stuff going on, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hopefully that's not too much of... Uh, are you kidding me right now? Are you... Skullberry. Oh, man. <laughs> there's a flaw in the design. There's a major flaw. Okay, so yeah, we definitely did not end the episode on the high note I was hoping for. Um, but we are <laughs> we are ending the episode here, I think. Uh, I'm going to have to grab some leads and make sure these guys are secure so they don't run away because this area is pretty open. But yeah, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, feel free to hit that little thumbs up button. That would that would actually mean a whole lot to me right now. <laughs> if you want to see more, please remember to subscribe. And as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply, deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later. Mm -hmm.